What's up guys, it's Gnarly Charlie. Um, here to kind of have a little bit of a drive time commute from work. And I kind of had a little question I thought I might ask other YouTubers to try and I don't know, I guess to kind of boost their uh, subscribers a little bit, try and get a little thing going where uh, we might try and challenge each other on different, you know, things. Kind of like the ice bucket challenge, but, you know, there's no repercussions if you don't, you know. It's, it's if you feel like doing it, go for it. If you feel like challenging somebody, go for it. I want to uh, kind of challenge uh, the Black Metal Rebellion, for one, and my second person I want to nominate is Classy Lonnie Metal. Whether they do anything with it or not, it's totally up to them. But I think it would be kind of cool. And here's the challenge. Where, how, when do you first discover metal? Not black metal, not death metal, not glam metal, thrash, whatever. Nothing in particular. Your first time of, I don't know, maybe you even kiss, Black Sabbath. What, what's your story behind that? That's my challenge. For me, my first experience with metal, outside of my uncle's truck, he, uh, my, my uncle used to uh, drive around a lot. He was a uh, county coroner. And, uh, you know, on his downtime, we'd drive around. He babysat a lot for me when I was younger. But, um, I remember hearing a lot of classic rock radio. And it, 100.7, what they're really known for is having a lot of Kiss, Black Sabbath, and kind of the early 70s, 80s heavy metal. And that was kind of my first initial... I guess you could say experience into metal. By the time I thought it was just rock and I didn't really think too much of it. When I really first really dove head first into metal and I'm like this is metal, this is you know this is what I gonna listen, this is why I love, this is a thing for me, this is my passion, was um, the summer between my eighth grade year and my freshman year of high school, I discovered on some TV station, uh, it's called Fuse. Back when Fuse had music, and it wasn't a bunch of reality shows, that I realize now, I've, I've noticed a lot of reality shows like uh, Warped, Warped Tour, Band Roadies and stuff. Stuff that's not really music anymore. It's got music related stuff in it, but not a whole lot of know bands playing their their songs which is what I know Fuse for um, the thing is I, I, uh, I they had a show on there and I forget what the show was called but they had uh, Slipknot and they played duality and the first time I heard that my mind was just kind of blown and I was like wow this kind of angry aggressive music I, it, it, you know, somewhere out there, somebody feels the same way I do. And I come from a small town, so that's really quite uncommon. <laughs> and then, the, like, following video right after that was Redneck by Lamb of God. And I remember going home, or going to school the next day, and telling my buddy, who's also, you know, really big into Slipknot, and actually had mentioned him before, and I'd never really, you know, grasped the whole concept of Slipknot the first time around. Uh, I was telling about this band Lamb of God and how awesome they were and how much they kicked ass and um, he was like yeah dude some 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 bald guy uh, screaming at you know some little kid's birthday party because the music video for Redneck uh, and he's in a band called Lamb of God it's probably some Christian thing he kind of blew it off I thought, and I'm like, no, dude, you really gotta check this band out. It's really good. So, uh, you know, the next day, I'm, you know, I think it was shop class or something like that. He comes in, 
and he's like dude totally wide eyed he's like I, I I ended up getting a CD online, like I bought it, and the, that, that band's just awesome. And I guess that was kind of the first initial thought of me being a metalhead. This is metal. Like I said, Kiss and Black Sabbath were already part of, and Van Halen, they were already part of my background already. But to me, those were those were rock bands. You know, those weren't 100% really 100% metal, and they weren't until you know later on in life. And, you know, ever since, like I said, ever since I saw that Slipknot in the Lamb of God, that's when I kind of really immersed myself in metal, and I'm, you know, I, you know, I've, I've dove in head first in that. You know, ever since then, I've discovered black metal, death metal, doom metal. You know, all these different types of subgenres, and that's what I love. That's what I collect, and that's my passion. And uh, I, I just kind of wanted to. Uh, spread that word out there and kind of have, uh, you know, like I said, a challenge a little bit, try and get other little small YouTubers since, uh, you know, YouTube's kind of going a little downhill with uh, pushing it out there. So, you know, try and get as many smaller YouTubers as we can to try and, you know, I guess try and do this challenge, but um, more or less just try and get their, their viewers to see other YouTubers and subscribe to them possibly and maybe get a bigger metal following, you know, with our already little metal followings between each YouTuber. So, you know, like I said, feel free to uh, do the challenge yourself and post a video of it or don't. It's totally up to you. But this is my metal stories and this is Gnarly Charlie. Hit subscribe if you dig it.